Hey guys, how is it all going? Are you a fan of Wild West movies like The Good, The Bad and The Ugly and video games like Red Dead Redemption? Yeah. Then I want you to hit the like button right now because today's artwork will be precisely in that theme with Bright Desert Sunset, Horse Riding Outlaws and a Train Heist. Alright, without further ado, let's create. I started with creating the background and for that I used this beautiful photo of Monument Valley and used Photoshop's sky selection tool to select and mask up the sky. I also made a copy of the image, used the perspective section in the transform tools and made the very front a bit larger. This will help lay out the scale and perspective in the image with a much larger and more detailed foreground and a very distant background. I mixed in some more rocky structures from a separate photo to create some variations. Next I dropped the train and it did take some time to find the perfect steam train matching the angle, perspective and theme of the composition. I used Photoshop's subject selection tool to quickly create a base selection and then pressed Q on the keyboard to activate the quick mask mode and manually painted with black and white to refine the selection. In the quick mask mode you can toggle press Q to switch between the mask and the selection. I used a mix of scale, distort perspective from the free transform tools to align it. After that I added our very first bandit and used the same approach for the masking. I added a quick selection with Photoshop's subject selection and then pressed Q to activate the quick mask mode and paint it with black and white to refine the edges. Scaled him into place and kept adding the additional bandits. Here I used the guy inside the train to reference how much I need to scale the bandit. Also as I made them about the same size, they needed to be located on the same plane on the ground. You can use this referencing method in your artworks as well to correctly scale newly added objects. I kept adding more cowboy images and will use them as the bandits. Afterward I will add some rifles and guns to give a more bandit like look. I just made sure to scale them appropriately fitting the perspective. By the way, these images are from various sources including free sources like Unsplash, Pexels and Pixabay and premium sources like Envato Elements. In case you want to get a subscription of Envato Elements, you can use my link below and get a 50% off on the annual plan. Next I dropped the cactus image as it will add up to the desert environment and also help frame the composition. Finally, I added a sky image of a beautiful sunset. Before starting with the color grading, let me show you a little behind the scene of this artwork and some iterations that I did before this final composition. I first started with a setting like this where the train projection was much to the front which didn't quite align with the perspective of the scene. Then I moved on to creating a daytime scene with a dusty desert composition and a more realistic blending. But I felt it lacked a punch and the end result might not be that good. But on the third try, I again switched back to the sunset theme and searched up a better angle for the train. But here much weight of the composition was on the left side and the right side was looking a bit empty. Then it occurred to me that shifting the sunset to the center may help balance the composition and I worked towards that. The reason I showed you all these trials because you might feel I do the compositions in one go but that is not the case. There is always a design element associated with the scene and several tries are required until the final decision is made. So if you ever feel that your composition is not looking interesting, always try to spend some time trying out multiple options because a solid design groundwork is essential for a good final result. Alright, let's move on with the color grading. I started by adding a selective color adjustment layer on the sky and modified the cyan's and blues as you can see. Then I added a curves adjustment layer and lifted the blacks as the image was too contrasty. After that I added curves to reduce the contrast and lift the plaques on the distant rocky mountains to add the atmospheric haze. I also lifted the curves in the red and blue channels to add a violet hue to the haze. Below the curves layer I occasionally added a brown solid color field layer with reduced opacity to build up the haze effect. I did the same thing for all the mountains, the ground and the train. Next I started adding the atmospheric haze on the bandits. I took a similar approach of clipping a brown solid color fill layer with reduced opacity as the primary source of the haze. Then on top of it I used a curves layer for further color grading. 
The curves layer was used to darken up the object, add a violet color cast and reduce the contrast at the same time. The main point to note here is that this atmospheric haze will be strongest at the distant object and will fade out for the objects closer to the viewer. The things in the very front will be much clearer and have better contrast. If you want to understand this concept in detail, you can check out my video on creating depth using atmospheric haze. I have tried to explain everything in much detail and I think you will like it. The link to the video should be in the description section. With that done, I started adding some overall color grading. I added a 3 strip color lookup table and changed its blending mode to color. I added a film stock 50 color lookup table on top of it and changed the blending mode to color as well. Along with that, I added a curves adjustment layer with lifted blacks, darkened shadows and increased highlights in the RGB channel. In the red channel, I dropped the curve from the top right node to reduce the reds in the highlight areas and lifted the curve in the blue channel to introduce a subtle blue color variation. Since our primary colors in the scene are yellow and orange, I opted for blue and violet to be the secondary colors as they are the complementary colors to each other and will create a very pleasing color harmony. Here I created a curves in a dark shade and also kept the hue to somewhat violet tone and painted some shadows in the mountains that would be opposite to the direct sunlight. Next I started building up the atmospheric effects with more dust and haze. For that, on plank layers in between the various objects, I took a pale brown color and softly painted with a smoke brush. I kept adding the haze in multiple passes, like in front of the mountains, in between the bandits, in front of the train and so on. Here I fixed the shadows on the cactus a bit. The photo had shadows in the opposite direction as the light direction in my scene, so I duplicated parts of the cactus from the other regions and patched up the initial shadows. Then I clipped the curls layer in a dark shade and masked up the areas lit by the distant sunset. I also used Blendif and moved the white point slider in the underlying layers section to reveal some of the lighter details from the below image. Once done, I duplicated the same shadow layer and painted some cast shadows of the bandits on the ground. I also used that layer to darken up the bandits further. Here I clipped an additional curves layer in a dark violet color and washed some colors in the shadowy regions of the distant mountains. Now it's time to create the highlights. For that I took a curves layer in a bright yellow color and clipped them to the various objects. Then I filled the layer mask with black and started painting with white to reveal the highlights. I also adjusted the curves values as required to suit the underlying objects. Here I painted to remove the guy in the engine room, I mean it wouldn't look right as he's calmly sitting and there are bandits just beside him. Here I added some rifles and corrected the highlights as required. After that I dropped some dart and rock particles at the point where the hooves hit the ground. 
I also added a little bit of motion blur on top of them. I used curves wherever necessary to lighten or darken the elements. I brushed some extra dust that I left for the final touches. And how can I not add some steam to the train? Here I used hue saturation to quickly darken them up. On top of that I added another hue saturation layer in light orange color and painted some reflected light from the sunset. Then on top of everything I added a blank layer in soft light blending mode and painted some ambient light. I used a warm yellow color in the bright sunlit areas and also around the sun to create a bloom effect, while in the shadowy areas I brushed with a cool violet color. Next I added some grain to the overall image and added a gradient map adjustment layer to subtly intensify the blue violet tint in the overall image and reduce the bright yellow a bit. I spent some more time fine tuning the result and added a little bit of motion blur on the peripheral areas and here goes the final result. Do let me know in the comments if you liked the artwork and found the video helpful. If so, don't forget to share it with your friends and if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel that would greatly motivate me to create more videos like this. Well then, I will see you in the next video and till then, enjoy creating.